As far back as 1856, men dreamed of linking the city of San Francisco with the east shore of the bay. But it remained for modern science and engineering to overcome almost insurmountable obstacles and make the dream come true. A six-lane double-deck bridge, eight miles long, spanning the largest major navigable body of water ever bridged. Thank you. Thank you. Right. The Bay Bridge was erected nearly 80 years ago. Now, the old eastern span is coming down piece by piece. Demolition began in January when workers began tearing up the bridge's concrete roadways. In late March, with temporary supports in place, crews started cutting through the span's steel superstructure, then lifting out each severed piece of the bridge. It's, uh, it's just a great big erector set. Adjustable wooden debris shields have been built under and along the sides of the bridge. Chief project engineer Bill Howe says these shields will prevent as much as 95% of construction debris from falling into the bay. Bill Howe says taking the bridge apart is essentially the same as the original construction process, but backwards. In the Bancroft Library at UC Berkeley, they have a whole photo series that shows the way the bridge was built. And if you go back and look at those photographs and compare them to the way the dismantling's going, they're very nearly identical. It's just the reverse order of the way the bridge was built. Building the third longest cantilever span in the world, the longest in the United States, was the bridge men's toughest job. The first part of the eastern span to come down is the 2,400-foot cantilever truss section, starting with the suspended span between the two towers. Right now, the gap's at about 500 feet. We have a crew that's working on the west side and east side simultaneously. The two crews are working independently to pull back the west cantilever and the east cantilever at roughly the same speed. Sometimes the west guys are a little bit ahead, sometimes the east guys are a little bit ahead. Complete demolition of the old eastern span will take three years, the same amount of time it took crews to put up the entire bridge back in the 1930s. I think everybody involved with the project is cognizant of the historical significance of taking down the old bridge. The old bridge, you know, worked really, really well for all the time it was in service. You know, it's just, if the big earthquake comes, it won't, it won't be adequate. It's out with the old and in with the new, and you don't get to do that very often.